Okay, so I just want to talk about Season 5, Episode 7 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. This episode was absolutely crazy, and I think that this might be the climax of the series. Like, I think that this might be um, from the point where everything else is kind of boring. <laughs> so, um, first of all, let me start off by saying that Kenya is crazy, okay? We all know Kenya's crazy. The whole thing with Walter is fake. I think it might even be like a staged relationship or something like it's just not real to me it's not real so anyway I'm not impressed with Kenya and just the way that she is behaving um but anyway so the episode starts they've they've arrived in Anguilla already um and they've started on with all their you know travel stuff the stuff that they want to do they're um and basically what had just happened in the episode before was when Kenya um, was like fl playing around with Apollo and then on the trip she's asking Phaedra like if you had to give Apollo a gift of two of your friends who would you choose? And first of all that question is just so disgusting. To, to say that giving one of giving Apollo the chance to have sex with one of your friends is a gift implies that you're somehow inadequate for him. And so that was a very rude and shady thing for for Kenya to say, whether she realizes it or not. Which I don't honestly think she does, because she's kind of fucking crazy. Um, so yeah, luckily for Kenya, Phaedra let it go, and I can't believe that she did. But she let her know that she's not to cross that line again. But you just wait. You just wait and see with Kenya and Apollo. I don't think they're done. Because we all know Kenya doesn't really have a man. I mean, last week she was asking that Filipino guy to have his baby. So, <laughs> um, so the whole the whole episode, like, they're kind of like putting in little seeds into your brain of of Kenya and Portia, like the seeing like Portia talk about Kenya behind her back and stuff, and like the confessionals. Kenya's always talking about Portia. Portia's always talking about Kenya. All this stuff. So. Anyway, in the next scene, um, they're getting ready to go to go to the vow renewal for um, Peter and Cynthia. So um, Nini has a little spa in her room, and she she invites uh, everybody to come, but most of them don't. But um, Portia came, and then, or no, Kenya came, and then Portia came after, and. And then Kenya left, <laughs> and then Portia talked about Kenya, so as usual, of course. Um, and then the next part, they were getting massages, um, and they um, they were all getting massages together, all the girls. And Nini was saying, like, she just happened to mention how she doesn't really see how Kenya and Walter are together, and it doesn't—they don't really look like a couple to her. And Kenya got a little bit fed up with all the insinuations, and she was like, why do you feel that way? What What is, like, tipping you off? Like, wh how am I letting you know? Like, I need to know how to keep this secret a little bit better. So, <laughs> Nini's saying, like, they, they just don't look like they have, like, that couple vibe. They just don't look like they care about each other that much. They don't, he doesn't look like he's really that into her, which I don't think she said that, but, you know, that's exactly what it is. And Nini, you know then tried to just diffuse it and just said, you know, well, you know, it, it, that's how it looks to me, but if it's different, if you're telling me it's different, then I believe you and good for you. Um, so then Kenya is, you know, she doesn't want to let it go. Um, but anyway, they both shut up eventually. So um, then the next part, they um, they have the vow renewal and it was really nice. It was really beautiful and really was great for Cynthia. And because, you know, their wedding was, you know, really brought down by Cynthia's sister and mother, and I still can't believe that they fucking hid the marriage certificate from them. <laughs> that was hilarious and amazing, because uh, I don't really like Peter, and nobody liked Peter when that when that was happening, but anyway, I guess he's kind of grown on me now, but I don't know. Anyway, the vow renewal was really nice, and see Peter crying, his little, you know, so that was cool, and then, um, after the vow renewal, they all came back and they got in their PJs and whatever. And here's where I differ with people because out of the recaps that I've been watching, people have been saying like, oh, Kenya got real crazy and all that stuff. And in the show, Nini was saying like, oh, Kenya just went crazy and like, the, blah, blah, blah. no, Portia instigated her from the first minute she said something. They were all sitting down having a nice time. Kenya didn't say boo about Portia. She didn't say a single thing. She didn't even give her a dirty look. 
okay? She didn't even, you know, and then Portia just goes, oh, well, Kenya's actually acting really different to me. I think she's being, like, really nice to me. Okay, this is something you say when the person's not in the room, okay? Not when they're sitting right beside you, Portia, okay? Um, so it was very shady that Portia even said something like that in front of Kenya. I think that was really rude, and it, it was really, like, patronizing and, like, oh, good for you, you're being nice now. Like, that's not, no, you don't say that to people. I'm sorry, that was just really stupid, a really dumb thing to say. So... I didn't, you know, I wasn't too much living for that. I didn't appreciate it. So, um, Kenya's, Kenya's like, well, you know, she tries to diffuse it and she, and she's polite about it. And she says, well, you know, sometimes you have to get to know someone a little bit better and, you know, in a different environment and to see who they really are and stuff. And, um, she was trying, she was honestly trying to just make it civil, right? And the Portia goes, no, 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 because... I felt as though you were thinking you were better than everybody else at my event, and she goes on to explain everything that happened. And Kenya's like, what? Like, why are you doing that? We're so past this now. Like, why are you going back there and rehashing everything to everybody? Like, everybody didn't need to hear everything about it, you know? And so Kenya's just like, wait, wait, wait. No, like, you have... And then Kenya still... She tries again. She's like, okay, well, you know what? I can see that if you thought that it was that way, then I can see why you would feel as though whatever. But to me, it was it was different. Blah, 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 blah. And she's honestly trying to, like, make it better. But Portia wants to fight with her, okay? Portia wants to fight with her. And this is why I don't get why afterwards everybody was acting like Kenya what just went crazy. Portia clearly wanted to fight with her okay it was just it's it's all in the cards okay and when she was when they were when they were saying you're a non-factor you're a non-motherfucking factor whatever i was like okay well these bitches both watch basketball wives and they're on the wrong show they should be on basketball wives i'm sorry because this show is not basketball wives it's a little bit different on this show people don't take off their shoes and jump across the table and throw glasses at each other well often <laughs> But, you know, um, so I didn't really think that that was, I mean, that was just telling. I mean, that they both are clearly just on the show for one reason, and they just want to be famous, you know. And they'll put themselves out there and their reputation and everything just to be famous. Um, and it's pretty sad, and um, I don't know. It was clear to me that Portia thinks she's on Basketball Wives, and she wants to be, you know, one of those kind of girls. And she should be on Basketball Wives. She's that demographic. She's, you know... Um, early 30s, early to mid 30s, as most of the ladies on Basketball Wives are, or very early 40s. Oh, um, <laughs> you know, she's early 30s. She's married to a sports player, which is what Basketball Wives is supposed to be about. So, come on. She shouldn't even be on this show. Bravo. Just link her to the Basketball Wives producers and get rid of her. Because I don't like her. I'm sorry. This girl, and what, what Kenya was saying was right about her. She has never done anything for herself. She's living off of her um, grandfather or whatever's legacy. Um, she is married to a football player, and that's all she does. She doesn't do anything. I'm sorry. You know, if you think that my life is perfect, it is. Like, whatever. I don't really care for you. I'm sorry. Go do something else. Nobody wants new Nobody wants you. And I don't understand how anybody could like her. She's just a spoiled little rich brat who doesn't, you know, she's never done anything for herself. And... For her to try to put down Kenya for being Miss USA in 1993, at least she fucking did something with her life. You ain't done shit. Like, I'm sorry. You're over. Like, and she's trying so hard to make sure that she's still there in season six because in this season, for half the episode so far, she wasn't even in it, okay? And in the last episode, they she was there, but they barely even turned the camera to her. They're like, oh, well, she's not doing anything interesting. So clearly, she just wants to be a part of the show long term, like really badly. And she's trying to bring the drama just to make sure that she stays. And I'm sorry, but it didn't work for Sheree. So <laughs> I'm really glad to see that Sheree is gone. And I hope that next season you'll be gone too. And I'm really glad that Kim is gone. Um, so anyway, this, this season is going really well for me. <laughs> so I really am excited to see next week's episode. And um, I was really 
shocked to see that everybody thought that Kenya was being crazy there because it was clearly Portia trying to start the fight and Kenya actually tried to defuse it and I gotta give her a hand for that because that bitch is crazy as fuck but in that instance she had her sanity for a moment okay and then she went gone with the wind fabulous and whatever but <laughs> she had it she had it it was there she had her brain okay so anyway see you guys next week hopefully if I even feel like making a video but yeah bye